Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial, Avid Studio Pro, watch and learn. Today we're doing a tutorial on the Hancock Effect. Let's get into it. First thing you need to do is you need to have a scene set up where you just video nothing in the scene. Just a scene that you're going to be doing everything at. Then you want to go ahead and video yourself either jumping up and coming down or running and jumping and coming down. Once you get those things done, you need to split your clips where there's nothing in the scene. And then you need to split the clip right where your individual touches the ground, which I have right here. You split your clip at those two locations, and then you put those two clips together on your timeline. And basically, it's just going to look like the individual is appearing out of nowhere. Okay? Then, what you need to do is... You need to right-click on the effect where the individual touches the ground you need to go to corrections snapshot apply and then click ok you're gonna save that to the location on your computer you gotta go get that snapshot and you gotta make a PNG image out of it if you don't know how to make a PNG image I showed you how to do it in my other tutorials and there's a link in this video to go check it out once you make the PNG image you wanna put it in your photos You'll see the PNG image here. All this is going to be see-through. All you can see is that individual. Now that I have the PNG image, I'm going to place it above the track where the individual, where there's nothing in the scene. I'm going to right-click on it and go to Adjust Duration and make it the same exact duration as the clip below it. Then I'm going to right-click on it and go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, and 3D Editor Advanced. And then I'm going to go to show media and tracks below. And I'm going to go to the position. I'm going to change the position and the size. I'll make the size 8.2 for my video. I just click on there and type in there. And you'll see that I made him really small. He's actually right up there on top of the house. And then I change the left the vertical at the horizontal at zero and change the vertical to move him up there above the house. And I have to enable keyframes. So now that I've done that, I click on enable keyframes. And I moved it to about halfway through. And then I made another keyframe by adjusting the vertical to 134, which basically brings him all the way off the screen. And then I made his size about 50. But you still can't see them. And then I moved it forward to the end. And I went ahead and added another keyframe by changing the horizontal and the vertical back to 100. And changing the vertical there to 0. And now he's in the original position right before he's going to touch the screen. And then you click OK. Now that I got that done, I need to start adding in my Actions Essential 2 footage. So I have a picture from Actions Essential that's called, called Ground Crack. Drag that into the timeline. Stretch it out. Right click on it. Go to Open Effects Editor. Go to Keyers. Luma Keyer. Click on Settings and invert this key. Show Media and Tracks below. And now I can see that on the screen. Next thing I need to do is go to 2D, 3D. I'm going to go to the 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to go to No Preset. I'm going to move this right now. It's at the end, so I'm going to move the scrubber to the beginning, right where he's touching. And I'm going to change the size to match the size of the individual causing a ground crack. And then I'm going to change the horizontal, move it over, and the vertical to move it where I need it to be. It looks good. So I click OK. Now I want to go to my video folder. And I have these action essential footage here. I'm going to bring down a dirt charge first. Bring this into the timeline. Right click it. Go to Open Effects Editor. Go to Keyers, Luma Key.
2D, 3D, and go to 2D Editor Advanced again. I'm going to show media and tracks below. Size and position once again. No preset. It's at the bottom right now, so I just drag it over to where I need it to be. I'm not going to be perfect right now. I'm going to let you guys be perfect when you do your thing. And we hit play. If we like it there, it's good. If you want to move it, change the size, you can. Now I'm going to go to color. I'm going to move the scrubber back a little bit so I can see the effect there. I'm going to go to base color. Intensity correction. I'm going to move the black down so it looks black. I'm going to go to color again. Go to brightness. And it looks gray now, and this little bit gray matches the ground better. I'm going to just leave it like that. Click OK. Now I need the bouncing debris, so I'm going to bring those down. I'm going to bring both of them down. I'm going to right click on the effect. And I'm going to copy all of the effects and I'm going to paste them onto these two. Now you might need to go right click on the two that you pasted it into and go to the 2D, 3D advanced because it might not be in the right position. You have to click on show media and tracks below. The size might not be exactly right as well. So you might have to move it down and you can see that I do need to move this down to get it into the correct position and move it over a little bit as well to get it right over the individual and click OK. You might have to do that with both of those. OK, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just showing you how to do it. So now I need to actually put my individual in front of all these debris and dirt charges and stuff because you know they're on top. So you're not going to be able to see my person. Everything, all this stuff is going to be on top of my person the whole time. So I'm going to right click the area where I have the person just running. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to try to paste it up here. If it doesn't go up there. So what? I'll just drag it up here myself. All right. So now I need to right click on that. Go to open effects editor. And I need to make the bottom portion of his leg see-through. So I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, 2D Editor Advanced again. And I'm going to go to No Preset. And I'm going to go to Cropping. And i got to bring the top down because I want everything. I want all the, the dirt charge and everything that pops up on top of him to still show up the whole time. So I'm going to go to about 59 or 60 or whatever. Then I'm going to move this over... So I can still see all the ground cracking and, and the dirt debris on the side. I'm move this over so I can still see the, the ground crack, dirt and debris on the side again. And then I'm going to show my media tracks below. And now I can see everything above and to the right and to the left of it, which is fine for right now. Next thing you need to do is you need to enable keyframes. So you're going to have to step through and move the right and the left to keep this individual's legs or whatever part of his body is covering all this in front of the effect. This is okay at this part, but as you move it through, you don't, after the dust and everything go through, you don't want to see anything except your person in front of all that stuff. So if you keep stepping through, you'll notice that there's some stuff in front of them on this one. So I want to Get that stuff off of him. Make sure there's nothing on the right and the left of him. So that made a keyframe. So I step through and keep stepping. If I see more stuff in front of him that I don't like, I move it. That's okay right there because that's on the top side. And you just keep doing that. Now eventually you're going to get to a point where the individual is way out here. So you don't want this stuff in front of him right here. So you want to crop it out. That's there because I didn't move it down. But you see some stuff here too. So you want to move that stuff and get it off of him. You don't want it on top of him at this point. He should be out of that debris already. All right. 
once you get all your keyframes done all the way to the end, and that includes all the way to the end because the ground crack, like you see, here's a ground crack. I don't want that ground crack on him, so I move it off of him. Okay, I don't want the ground crack on the other side of him either. Move it off of him. Okay, once you're done with all of that, it's going to take a long time. You want to go back to your first keyframe. And you want to then go from cropping to transparency. And at the first keyframe, you want the transparency at 100. Because I want to see everything in front of him right now because he's hitting the ground. And I want all this dust and stuff to pop off in front of him. So I'm going to step through. And right here is pretty good. I'm going to add a keyframe here. Or I don't really have to do it. All I really need to do is move my transparency down. Let's say I want it to still be at 100 here. Well, let's say I step forward to an, another frame. And now I want the transparency at 50, let's say. Or maybe higher. Depends on what you want. I might do 80. Then I might move to another frame. And keep going forward. At this point, I might want the transparency at 50. And then I step forward again until I get to a point where he's coming through everything. And now guess what? I want the transparency at zero because he's coming out of everything. And I want to see him and nothing in front of him. And the keyframe that you made before with the cropping will make it so you don't see anything in front of him. You click OK. And that's a wrap with that piece. Last piece, dust wave. Drag that down into the timeline. And basically, you're just going to do the 2D Editor Advanced, put it in the place where you want it, and then use some keyframes to do some transparency on that dust so that it kind of looks like it floats away quicker. And that's it. How to do the Hancock effect in Avid Studio.